Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, February 1. Um, I'm so excited because I'm back I'm here with my new backsplash, old, possibly old friend, mini lives friend, Sarah, up in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Hi, everyone? How are you doing? <laughs> we were just talking about dogs. We're going to do a monthly <laughs> reading, obviously, because Sarah is a very talented tea leaf reader. If you guys missed the last episode we did together, um, I will put that down in the description box below so you can check out the last episode we did together where Sarah really introduced herself and her talent. Um, but how are you doing today, Sarah? Good. It's been a bit of a busy day. I was outside. Bryce knows we're outside with our chocolate lab named Brie in the snowbank throwing snowballs. Yeah. So it's been a good, it's been a good day aside from that and replying to the lovely people who are friends, some of which have now emailed me for readings. That's so, so, um, it, it's so neat. So I if I've not gotten back in touch with you, I'll maybe check your junk folder and just see if it's in there, but I'm working very hard and Bryce has been helping me with everything in the background. So uh, it's amazing. And everyone has been so kind. Like when you say in your videos that you have the best, nicest people on your channel, it is completely true. Like I always believed it, but now that I'm interacting with, with, with our friends and on the receiving, like, it's just amazing. Everyone truly is genuinely amazing. So oh, yeah. kind and real too. the real. Yeah. Thing. And that's what I love about this corner of the internet. You know, if you, cause I watch a lot of YouTube videos of um, mm -hmm. other corners, you know, I take mental breaks where I'll watch the drama channels, you know, just for shits and giggles or something, you know, and they're always competing with each other, the the content creators, but our channel, our, our corner of the internet over here, we have the same, it's a community of people. Like we all have the same subscribers. We all have the same, we get to know each other. It's, and that's why we, we put ourselves on YouTube, not to necessarily create a, like a, is more of like a battle cry right like you know like exactly. we are, we're we're in a in any way so i know we we're talking about i said I, we were talking about dogs when we first signed on because you're you're your little girl's still quite young and labs are they're mm -hmm. a handful aren't they they are uh, we had had dogs before but we had like we always got rescue dogs and with this one we, we just sort of ended up meeting her within 22 hours but of uh, getting her when, when she was like two days shy of nine weeks old and she's a sweetheart but she's we've never had a lab before and we live in a condo so we're taking her out all the time and she's just very very high energy she's very sweet but she's stubborn and she has a mind of her own so. they i was uh, i was telling you my sister um has a black lab mo who is elderly now he's an elderly oh. old man now but when my sister after university her and her then boyfriend now her husband um moved they moved out to colorado for a couple of years just to like have fun work you know little jobs at the resort and snowboard and ski her husband uh now her now husband steven's family had a place out in tell you right so they they were like we're just gonna but they lived in a little apartment and they and steven her boyfriend then now husband had his own he had blue a yellow lab who's since passed away and mo and my sister i mean these labs are they just go 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 and they will jump in the coldest water and they will retreat okay. anything that's what they are trained to do i were so back when my sister lived in i don't know if i've told the story on my on my channel before but i would love to hear if anybody watching had a similar story so back in in the usa and in this time when my sister this was years ago um colorado the state colorado had made marijuana semi-legal at this point you could go to, to a distillery and get if you had a card and my brother-in-law then her boyfriend had a, a card and so he would go to the distillery and tell you right and get stuff and he had gotten like a cheesecake you know get he would get a lot of food know. items as well well no. my sister and her boyfriend had gone out for the night <laughs> Oh, and they no. came back and the whole cheesecake was gone <laughs> and it was my sister's dog mo who had gotten the cheesecake and oh, no. our dad is a veterinarian but i don't think my sister wanted to call our dad so she called the local vet in colorado and she was freaking out like it's my dog gonna die like what's going and the vet started laughing hysterically he was like this happens all the time he was like your dog's just gonna have to ride out the high like basically <laughs> <laughs> And my sister said, Mo, her dog, his front two paws, he was walking like this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guy. He just had too much fun. <laughs> she said he was high for like three days. Like, <laughs> just for three days. <laughs> And, um, and oh, she, no. I thought, oh, she would say that I was, I was saying the other day, I, uh, they would go when they would go 
they traveled around following fish and widespread panic. This was before mayors, before kids, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so whenever they would go to different towns to, you know, travel for a weekend to go see the fish or widespread panic, um, their neighbor would watch their dogs and their neighbor was a long cross country runner would run the Rockies like crazy. And their dogs loved it. Cause they got to go run with him. My sister and her husband are not run- well, actually my, my brother-in-law now is a marathon runner, but then he was not, he was a pothead. Like he was not, you know, running, you know, he's too snowboarding. Now he, now he's a marathon runner, but uh, <laughs> every time they would pick the dogs up from their neighbor though, my sister was like, they were so sore. The dogs would be like so sore for just, <laughs> Just like I can't move. Like, well, she she seems pretty quiet right now, but she was in her snowbank. But I'm like, she this afternoon. Well, I need to go back to the beach or somewhere. I mean, there's like about ten inches of snow here. Mm-hmm. I would say almost that now. So she's happy, but I can't only imagine those dogs must have been so sore because they had a good time. They, they had a good time, and well, they don't realize how tired they are. That's the thing. They don't. They will literally go in for like your lap's still young. I mean, my boy Ravi, who is a rescue from India, he's about six years old now, and he's still when he was a puppy, when he first was rescued, we would laugh because it was like having a toddler. Because he was so hyperactive, especially being a street dog. We would have to take him on like these five mile loops in order to just get an hour's worth of peace when we got home. Yeah. And he'd be yeah. hyper again. And my boyfriend would laugh and be like, I wouldn't be there. And he'd have to take a shower. And you know, when you have like a parents can probably, when you have like a small child and you're in the shower, you're constantly worried. My boyfriend would be like, you'd be like in the shower, you have to sneak out of the shower just to check to make sure like the dog had not gotten into the recycling or gotten into the trash or, you know, he was just, so, he, he dug a hole um, in my boyfriend's place in Decatur, which is a part of Atlanta. My, he, he dug a hole through the wall in the bathroom, like literally dug a hole through it. Cause we couldn't keep him in a crate. He would no. every, we, we tried so many different crates. He would watch my boyfriend tie, like, do the carabiner or do whatever. And he would watch it and then he would undo it and get out. Really? Cause he's a street dog. He's a street dog. So they're, they're, they're smart. And so we would have to put him in the bathroom cause he couldn't get out of the bathroom. And so, so he, he dug a hole. To, so he decided to dig, a, dig his way out, dig a hole in the yeah, wall. He dug a hole. So, yeah, so for anybody who's dealing with um, puppies right now, <laughs> we, we totally get you. <laughs> You're not alone. No, it will improve. Things it will, will improve. pass. Yes, it's just patience and breathe, and just... <laughs> it will pass. They're they're like children, so it's you know. a long term commitment. They do settle down. Brie has settled down since she was just a little baby, but it. I, we have literally spoken with people out walking around with Bree since we first started taking her out for walks and adventures around here because we do live very near to the late, late Lake Huron. So there's a lot of beaches and things we can take her to off season. And literally everyone who has had a lab or at least a chocolate lab have always said the same thing. They calm down. Oh, they calm down. We have heard ages two, three, five, seven, ten, num- 16. And yeah. I'm like, Okay. I think five <laughs> is because Ravi, we think Ravi now is six. So we think he's six. Okay. And it was around the age of five that he got real calm. That like, not okay. I mean, he's still he, we still exercise him a lot. We still have to, but he started to really calm down more. Um I actually think when Ravi is an old man, he's gonna be an ordinary old man. He's gonna be like the old grumpy dog. That's like <laughs> Just leave me alone. Give me a toy. Give me give me a treat. I'm going to have a nap. We always say, because Bid uh, in Canada, where he's from, in, uh, in, uh, he's from the state of Mysore, so Karnataka, and there's like so many different languages in, in India, but Canada is the language they speak for Karnataka, and Bida is, uh, that's no, and they do their hand, and where I was like, Robbie's going to be like, the, like, Bida, like, like to all that Bida, <laughs> to the young ones. <laughs> Just leave me alone. No. Yeah. So (laughs) he's so funny. All right, you guys. Well, just in case, I am going to go ahead before we get into the subject matter at hand. I'm going to go ahead and share once again Sarah's channel. Go ahead and subscribe because out of all the truth there, Sarah, I think you're the only tea leaf reader. I think you're right. You had mentioned that, and I think you're right. I don't. I don't know of anyone else in the truth or community that is doing doing tea leaf reading 
to be honest. Oh. And it's so fascinating. Once again, if you missed the first episode I did with Sarah, I will put that down in the description box so you can rewatch it where she talks more about how she got into tea leaf, leaf reading, all that kind of stuff. We also have, you can click here for her website. I already have it pulled up. Um, but here is her website. I know that she's working behind the scenes to to be more excited, to ha figure out how to work with uh with uh, those of us who are not Canadians. And I, I it's amazing because it's so, I mean, they're they're trying hard and you guys can see how much research I've been doing with all my, with all my tabs pulled up. But um, <laughs> but book, if you, I mean, I was blown away by your ability to read the tea leaves. Cause I, I mean, you, you text me afterwards, do you want a picture? And I was like, I'm like thinking, honestly, I don't even know what, I have no idea what that says. So, um, so what we're gonna do guys, I think every month in the, to the, per perceivable future hopefully it won't be that long of a future because hopefully before too long we'll all be living in a new timeline but 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 for the, for the perceivable future we're gonna have sarah come on and talk about each month and what she get what spirit wants to tell us to expect in the upcoming month at hand exactly. so, this is for our friends who are watching yes Yes. So should we get started? I don't know. Well, and I want to say, though, I know we talked about this last time. I do have a disclaimer in the front of my videos, but yeah. please know this is entertainment purposes only, you guys. Like, we, 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 uh, you know, take what resonates. Um, I, I see this a lot with the books I read from channelers, and I know this from myself. Like, as a human being, we are always dealing with our own perceptions of reality. And so for channelers, they're giving you messages from how they perceive it through their own lens. So take yeah. what resonates, Absolutely. you know, with with any divinator. I think I think you can speak for that. If any div just take what resonates. Take what when you will and leave what you don't. I have that disclaimer on my website, on the about section of my video, in the description of each video, and an audio version of me speaking where I was saying a disclaimer at the beginning of every video, I'm covering myself in every which way angle. It's really is take what you will and leave what you don't. I'm not going to tell you, I'm a Leo, yes, but I'm not going to tell you what to do in readings. I am not into that. Make your own decision. I've had people over the years say, ask me, should I leave my significant other? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. That's not the point of a reading. It really is take what you will and leave what you don't. Um, I just, I would say, just keep an open mind whenever you have a reading and just say, okay, this is what is coming through right now. Time and events, as we know, can definitely can change. So it, just, at this moment in time, when I say whatever's coming through the leaves at this moment in time is accurate, but things can change. And this is just the timeline. This is just one series of events that I'm seeing right now. It doesn't mean that it's set in stone. It doesn't mean not mean that I'm 100% right. I do not claim to be 100% right. The only 100% all the time is source creator, God, universe, source, mother and father, whatever you want to call it. So I'm literally just a messenger just saying whatever I'm saying. So definitely entertainment purposes only make up your own mind about everything and use your own sound discernment and judgment for everything. And I think it's a very healthy thing to do anyway, whenever it comes to anything, but also readings, especially we're not going to tell you, I never tell people what to do. I'm like in some cases, in some readings, I'm going to say, if it comes through, I'm telling you what to do, but I'm not telling you what to do. It's coming through so strongly that here's what you should do, but I'm not, I'm going to say that, but do what you want to do. <laughs> Yeah. And I also think divination too, it's like a forecast, like the universe is giving you a forecast. And so you take the information and you work the information that's going to be the best for you as well. You know, Absolutely. it's Absolutely. like the meteorologist saying, grab an umbrella today because it's going to be raining or there's going to be rain today. So now you have the choice whether you like being wet in the rain or whether you want to grab an umbrella. Um, right. You or know? maybe the forecast will be different. Maybe if you check a different forecast, it'll see something different and it won't rain or yeah. whatever the case may be. It really is a take what you will and leave what you don't. I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is just giving us a peek into what is coming up, knowing that things can change. And sometimes, who's to say, sometimes information may come through that is not accurate because that's what we're not supposed to hear the accurate. We're supposed to hear whatever is coming through. I'm not saying it's not accurate. I'm just saying that I'm just saying whatever I'm seeing and it's whatever God wants us to know at the time. Yeah. And sometimes God doesn't want to tell us. And that's why, oh, surprises. Like I was just telling you, because sometimes like in the past, if I, if I see this is again, this is how I do my tea leaf readings. If I see a grouping of tea leaves that are very, very tight, I'll say, oh, we're getting a surprise. Because in the past, I've, when I've said to clients, oh, we're not supposed to know. I want to know. And they get kind of like, oh, but I want to know. I'm like, well, okay. Swap not supposed to know with the surprise! word surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like oh okay like because Stewie's is saying exactly the same thing it's just we're not supposed to know whatever this is right now and there's something really good on the way that we're not supposed to know and i will say as much as i can see that's happening with that grouping 
and the universe is always conspiring for your best interest. And so if there's something that spirit doesn't, we're just going to do a general reading for the month of February. So if there's something spirits like they can't know this right now, we have to trust that, that, that it's, it's okay. Listen, if spirit had told me back 10 years ago that my ass would be sitting up on YouTube doing shows, I would have been like, no, I would have been like, no, I'm a Nashtanga teacher. Like I'm doing, so there's some things that we have to, we have to, I know you got that with my reading that there was some surprises. Like there's some stuff that spirit just can't tell you right now because you're not in a place to understand it, you know, the trajectory, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. One time I did a reading for myself and this was even several years ago and I prepared the cup. I did everything I, as I normally do. And I looked in the cup and all the leaves were on the bottom. There was like nothing on the sides at all. It was completely clear. And the whole, all the leaves stayed in the bottom and all the water had come out, but all the leaves were covering the base and it was like a thick layer. I'm like, Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to know. There's something coming that I'm not supposed to know. It doesn't mean it's bad. I only do the good stuff is what I say. And people say, tell me the, tell me the good, tell me the bad. I'm like, well, define bad. But anyway, all, well, I want to, let me just pause on that for a second. Cause I just feel the need. I was, I was having a conversation with our friend Emmy today and mm-hmm. I've been very honest. Um, my, my birthday is coming up on Saturday and I have a really hard time with birthdays. I've always really struck. It started at age 27. I had, I just really struggle and I don't know why I really, I mean, I think I know why, but I'm not, someone that's ever going to lie about my age. I think it's stupid. So, you know, I always, you know, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm coming up on 40, like, and I was talking through it with Emmy and I was like talking through like when I started being triggered by like what was, and, and, and I, I had some breakthroughs of thought, but I was this morning, I was in my practice. I was like thinking about the last 10 years of my life about everything that, you know, you accomplished. And I think Sarah, you're probably a lot like me in this way. Um, Cause we're the same age and we were born the same year. And I think that a lot of um, people that are in, in this timeline, we didn't take the road, the path that we were supposed, the traditional path, right? Uh-huh. And that was not our mission. That was not our mission to take that because we had something, we came down here for a purpose, for a reason. But I was sitting there and I was trying to go through my head, like, because I, I feel that pressure because I do possibly want to have a baby at some point, but I'm getting, you know, you have all these things in your head, you know. And I was thinking about the last 10 years from 30 to 40, everything that has happened to me in my life, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I got kind of a little bit cracked up with the idea that things happen, perceived things happen to us that we think are bad, but they end up being really good. And that's sometimes why God doesn't, won't say, or spirit won't say anything right away because they, they, they don't want, like I worked my ass off. I broken bones, bloodied nose, bruising, jet lag, deli belly, soreness up at the crap to and i and i became the only female authorized in the state of georgia to teach out and it threw sweat blood grit and you know it, it took so much to do that and just the, the traveling and just you know that's why i don't have a child you know it's like and then when the and then i was working at aya and then todd basically was like you can't teach here anymore because you're authorized you need to go start your own program you need to have your, you need to be the headmaster of your own program. So I opened up a program in the suburbs. So I would drive every morning from Midtown where I live in Atlanta, all the way up to the suburbs and run a program. And my program was growing. I, I mean, it was growing, it was growing, it was growing. I was the only um, traditional yoga program in that area. And I had so many students. And then what happened? Lockdown. Yeah. And the studio I had started my shala in was brand new. So it couldn't sustain yeah. And so it shut down. Yes. And the funny thing is, is right before it shut down, I had been thinking about opening up a YouTube channel just for fun. I was just going to do like stories that I find interesting, you know, just for fun. And when my program shut down, it was like everything I had worked for, for so learning Sanskrit. I have three Sanskrit teachers in India and they scare me more than anyone. Like Indian professors are scary. Like they're so strict and they're so scary. And, um, you know, I learned Sanskrit, I learned, and I was all of a sudden it was gone. It was just gone. But what was happening is something else was happening. Yes. I was opening up a YouTube platform and now, and first when I was on YouTube, I never, I didn't speak about yoga. I never, but then it evolved into the spiritual talk and all. And so all of a sudden now mm-hmm. this authorization is taking on a new life of its own in a different way. I'm doing these shadow, I'm using my education to do the shadow work challenges, you know? So I, I wanted to use an example for you guys. Like, what I, I get what Sarah's saying, what we perceive in the moment is bad is always working in our favor. Absolutely. You know, 
I can give a very, very small example from many years ago. Um, at the time I had, like, I went to a college in a, a local, local college from where we were living and I, and I ended up taking, I wanted to run a and b So that was in my head. So I decided I'm going to go into business and take a business course. So anyway, it ended up taking business administration, marketing co-op, very long phrase, but anyway, um, did that. And I got into marketing. I did office jobs for many, many years. And in 2000 and I think it's 2009, it's 2009, uh, that's when the manufacturing sector crashed in the U.S. and that's when everything was happening there. And the, where I was working, sir, the company served that sector. And I like, I knew it was on the way. I knew my job was coming to an end there at that time. And and no hard feelings. That was just the way that it was happening for me and many, many, many other people. And so it happened. I was laid off. It was, it was all amical, whatever. And at that time, there was a, a spiritual retreat pilgrimage tour that I wanted to go on in the UK and I could not do it because I didn't have my vacation days. Well, guess what? I was laid off. And then one spot opened up and I messaged the lady and she said, yep, you're in. So, I mean, I ended up getting food poisoning or something before. So I was delayed by going over by, by a few days, but I got to go on this one tour that I really, really genuinely wanted to go on. It was very enlightening. It's all spiritual. So Celtic spirituality, it's one, of my, one of my favorite things, Celtic spirituality. So I got to go but because I had been laid off. I, I had the ability and the time and the finances too. To go. Yeah. yeah. So that was just a very small example. And that was years ago, but things like that happen. I think daily. Yeah. And sometimes we get so caught up in the drama of, are perceived what we perceive as bad to not realize that there's something bigger happening there's something bigger happening and i was telling emmy like you you're now on youtube as well how cool is it that you get to share your experience with so many people yes. you know you get to share that with so many people now for free you know that's how i feel blessed that i get to share so much about what i've, I've had the privilege of being able to go to india so many times and and and, and acquire this information and it's almost like god saying well what's the good in having this information if it's not in a place where it can really be shared exactly you know? I, I i had been thinking of having i've contemplated having a youtube channel for many 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 years but i just didn't it didn't feel right i wanted to but i didn't there was some friction around it and then like i said last year after two odd years of everything happening i'm like okay god let's go let's do it let's do it obviously this is the time you know yeah and so so i i'm so glad we paused on that for a minute you guys so i really want people i know we we get we uh, our, my friend shanti at aquarius rising africa calls it the drama of it all it's the drama you know the but but and and i i posted something in the signal group this morning because i uh marnie alton had released something and she always has great words to say and she talks about that like everything's always happening for you the chaos everything you know, it, it's happening in your favor. It's happening for you. You know, right. if you just allow it. Well, with that being said, if you're being abused or that you need to like move That's away, true. we're not talking about that. I don't invite it to like, if you're, be but like when things happen that are out of your control, you know, right. like with, with the lockdown, every, it was out of our, no one in the, I mean, no, we had never been in this situation before ever no. as a globe. No, it, what was ha it was happened. There was nowhere to run. It was no. in the past. If, if one country was going tyrannical, you could just immigrate to another country. No. We can't do that now because all of the countries are are in this situation, and so it forced a lot of us. What was perceived as being something really bad because businesses were being lost, all sorts of stuff. But that that that's the friction right that's the beautiful friction that's the i always use that example and this is something i taught even before youtube we have a match yes. the match has everything on it it needs to light but it mm -hmm. can't do anything until it's struck up against the matchbook and and not to interrupt but that's a very similar to an image that i often will see or i shouldn't say often but it shows up whenever it needs to in tv reading is a as a keyhole sometimes i'll see a key but sometimes i'll see a keyhole and I'll say exactly that. You have everything that the situation looks like it's going well. You have everything that you need in order to, to do it. You just need to put the key in and turn the lock. That That's yeah. all you have to do in that situation. You need to strike the match. You just need to put the key into the lock to open the door. You just have to take that action if you feel it's the right thing to do at that time. And it's for the greatest good of everyone involved and you're safe and everything else, of course. But sometimes you just have to take that one action. That one, and that isn't one that moment. the human condition though? Like humans, as, and I'm guilty of this, we get complacent. Yes. If things aren't really bad for us, we won't change. And if, sometimes we get comfortable. So go ahead. Well, and that's why universe comes in and is like, guess what? We're going to shut the whole world down. 
and sometimes you get comfortable in the in the feeling not good because even though you want better sometimes you just get you're, you're comfortable because it's what you're used to you expect and it even though yeah and you want to change but sometimes you're like i don't know because it's scary i mean yeah how many people stay in bad marriages because they're afraid of they the the, the bad they know is security versus the possible good that's unknown and so sometimes universe will come in spirit will come in and be like if you're not going to do this we're going to force you to do it we're going to rip it the carpet out from under you and so i really want people to have i don't want people like I, I don't want fear fear is false evidence appearing real that's all f or or it can be forget everything and run but we're not to do false evidence appearing real you know because that's what my teacher will say in india like if, if, if you're having like an issue on your mat and you're sweaty and there's an posture that's you're really just it's messing with your head he'll go why fearing why fearing and you sit back and you go why am i what what is this triggering in me and then that, that starts to unravel the fear because fear is false evidence appearing real you know and so and so i just i'm so glad we talked because i really want people like don't push the fear like you guys like it's all you are made to be here in this moment according to the law of one what earth is going through right now every single person on this planet right now is a high priority soul meaning doesn't mean that there are souls that aren't high priority it just means that your soul was capable of handling this and that's beautiful and i think it's beautiful like, remember when i first heard you say that once in one of your videos i thought oh it just it just it's so reassuring to hear that because it just gives you i think validity and confirmation and reassurance that you're okay keep going things are gonna you just have to hang in there just keep going yeah. and and it's not about being fearful i mean i've had no one has bolted out of a reading yet ever but sometimes people don't want to have a reading especially a few times i've been in a group setting and and one of the clients there or a lady if someone will be present and they don't want when they're afraid i'm like that's fine i'm not going to force you you yeah. do what you want to do but nothing scary has ever come up in a tv reading specifically so just just take it for what you will leave it you don't but it's not about ignoring anything that's bad like you said if you're in a bad marriage if you're in a bad situation if you feel like if that fear is like um is, is like a divine guidance factor if, if you're being if that fear there's a difference like sometimes oh, like, yeah. if you feel fear what is that fear and that's something that i for years i had to like figure out like okay is what is this fear that i'm feeling that i'm picking up on is this fear is this fear mine is this someone else is this spirit is this god what, yeah like, god like what what is this fear that i'm feeling and is this a guidance to not be in that situation or is that something that i need to like where is it coming from and address it so does that make sense <laughs> yeah absolutely because fear does have a place you know like if you see if you're walking on a train tracks and you see a train barreling out you you're going to be struck with fear that fear is telling you get out of the way right absolutely. So, so that's not so if you are in a situation that is is detrimental to you where sarah and i are not saying oh just stick with it because there's a plan no no no, no, no. we're talking no. about stuff that is out of your control that might come up that might be seen as something scary but you have to understand listen i want everybody listening to that to truly understand this when the sperm hits the egg there is a flash of light that's you that's intentional god did not put you here by mistake your life is not a mistake no no and i and i know from my own experience how many times have I felt throughout my whole life? And I was bullied horribly when I was little. I'm sure many of us were. But uh, in my experience, how many times in my life have I been in a situation and I'll just sit there or, or I'll get it, scurry away from that situation, whatever I was in, and I'll just hang my head and say, like, I I'm not even worthy of breathing the air that I'm breathing. And I know that may sound extreme, but I've been there. I've like, had that experience. So what I'm doing, like, reading is don't ever think that I'm, like, sitting on high preaching from my little, like, soapbox. Sometimes I do that. But it's, it's because I... I get you. I know what that can feel like. That humanness. That's being very human. And it's I do human. think, I think a lot of us um, went through a rough childhood, different socioeconomic backgrounds, different reason, reasonings. Um, but I think we had to learn. We did. And that's what Magdalene says in her gospel. You have to descend before you can ascend because that that's the compassion and that's the difference between like us and psychopaths is that for us we can experience those dark nights of the soul those times of of you know wanting to hurt ourselves have to be careful what we say on youtube 
Yeah. Um, and then come out of it. But then when we know someone else is there, we can have that empathy and that compassion, whereas a psychopath won't. And that's yeah. the biggest difference. And that's where the, the love is. And that's where the vibration of light is. So if you are in a, you know, and if you're, if, if you're going through a rough time right now, if someone's listening and they're going through a dark night of the soul or they're feeling, I don't want you to have toxic positivity and just sit there thinking, oh, everything's going to be okay. No. Cry, journal, book an appointment with Sarah to have a real, like, it's okay to feel those feelings. Don't think that's not okay um, because those are human. And those, those, those are, those, those feelings do provide you with information. So, all right. And should we get going? Yeah. So one more thing. Sometimes a reading is like not the best course of action. I'll say that too. I've had I've, over the years, some people have approached me for reading and I'll, and I say to them, I've said this before in many, in a few other sessions I've had with clients, sometimes a reading isn't what you need right now. Sometimes I'm not a medical professional. I'm not, I don't pretend yeah. to be, this is no substitute yeah. for any medical advice or by any means. So I myself had long story, but my, I myself had spiritual psychotherapy sessions. I was on the, I received that I had many, I had a few sessions, several sessions over 10 years ago, one of the best things I ever did, but I knew I needed help and I knew a reading wasn't what I needed at that time. So I sought help otherwise. So don't ever think that these readings are, are, are a substitute for anything like that because no. that they, those other modalities, they do have their place. And I, I, my, my, I know a lot of people in our community don't like therapists, but I had a really great experience with my trauma therapist. I um, had a great experience with my therapist. I, I loved therapy. I was sad when I was dismissed. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> by, by, by the last session, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm sad. Like I was like, right. I'm like, I felt like good after, like after several sessions, I'm, like, oh, I'm good. But I was like, oh, I liked it. It was so good. After the first one, I'm like, I really enjoyed it. It was no. I was like trying to think of another problem so I wouldn't have to go <laughs> stop going through what I but therapy helps me so much because it gave me a therapist. I know there listen guys, I know don't leave comments. I know there are bad therapists. I understand that. But but when we see the world in black and white, we're missing the point. There are people, people don't become therapists to be they become therapists to help people. And my therapist in Atlanta was a, a genius. She used, she was herself. She had a whole library full of uh, Eastern philosophy books. So she was very familiar with my background in yoga. And she used mm -hmm. a lot of that to really help me because that was my perspective of understanding. Exactly. You know? So, so she was amazing. She was amazing. And so I, I, I highly suggest therapy to people therapy. I mean, like I said, I, I, I know a, a, there's a senior yoga teacher for to me. She's actually Canadian as well. And she said that for mm -hmm. she was yoga is great, but talk, have you tried th talk therapy like this? <laughs> it's, like... <laughs> it's true. I love my therapist. I actually know another psychotherapist. She doesn't, she doesn't do the spiritual psychotherapy, but she's another therapist. And I love her. I think she's amazing. I'm like past life or something there with her, but she's amazing. I, I think she's wonderful. Oh, but wonderful. there again, I know if she's there, if I ever need her, I can always message her and say, hi, are you free? Can I book a session? But that's, I, I know I have her in my back pocket. If I ever needed to feel the need to go to her, I can, but yeah, there's good. There's bad. I think in everything. Yeah. But and my therapist, the same way when I, she was like, don't ever hesitate to just call me if you need help in a little, she's like, if you have a little situation come up that you don't know what to do. Just call me. We'll talk it through. Cause they don't, therapists don't tell you what to do that you, they, they nudge you along till you see the clarity. So, so yeah. All right. Well, I'm actually going to put you on the full screen, Sarah. So everyone can oh, okay. see you. I always feel oh, like okay. when I have people, I'm always like staring. <laughs> so I'm going to put you on the full <laughs> screen um, while okay. you do, but you do your thing, girl. I'm just getting the water boiled in the background. So I'm just reboiling. I boil it first, but I'm like, oh, we've been talking for a little bit. I'm like, it's probably gotten lukewarm by now. So I'm just waiting for it to. That's okay. I'll pop back on why it what boils. Yeah. So she, I, I, if you guys missed it, again, I'll put the, the other video down in the description box. But she's, she's, I had asked her in that video, like, how do you do this? Do you drink the tea? Like, but she actually swirls it, which I'm sure she's going to show you once the water boils. And we laughed because um, uh, down here in the South, it's, Sweet tea. Yeah. It's iced tea. It's cold. It's, iced tea. it's cold tea. We drink cold tea up here in Canada too, but usually that's more of a summer thing. Well, down here in the South, we don't really do winter. It's not really a thing down here. <laughs> so, <laughs> here so down, they don't get, you don't get to play with your dog in the snow castle, in the snow castles, the snow bank. My dog has seen <laughs> snow once. And I told you the one time he saw snow, he was very upset. Thought we were just awful because I think he thinks we control the weather and um he refused to poop so oh, <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor mommy 
<laughs> he refused. Well, he doesn't have to play in the snow if he doesn't want to. It's fine. He's living in the right place. <laughs> I know. As, as you guys are freezing, I sent there a picture. We were driving back through Atlanta, and there's a guy without a shirt on standing on 10th Street. My boyfriend was like, he must be from Canada. <laughs> Just enjoying the the warmth. I mean, I I mean, I don't I can't complain. I love the winter. I love the nice and cool. I love the cold. I love it. I have asthma. I can't go out in it very long, but I do. I do love it. We had on like sweatshirts, and there's this dude standing there without a shirt on, and my boyfriend's like, he must be from Canada. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. My, one of my good friends from Toronto, one of my besties, he would before the lockdown, he would come down a few times a year to visit in Atlanta. And he always wanted to come here. He never really wanted me to go there because I figured it out because he would come during the winter. <laughs> and he would have taken oh, just a right? snowbird. He's just a snowbird. He can't take <laughs> the cold. He's hiding out in the in the warmth of the south. A lot of people a lot of Canadians do that. They're called snowbirds. Yeah, there's a lot in Florida. Yep, yep, yep. So yep, there's there's right. a lot. I'm just gonna get the water one second and spoil it. Okay, now. you're good. Okay, so let me just get this here. I am prepared. I have my charger and I have a little charger here. So if my phone battery goes down, at least I'm prepared. Okay, so I have kettle. So today we are using something different. We are using chai black tea. So it smells like spice cake. Really good. Very so. Indian, the chai black chai. Very Indian. Yeah. I actually fun. like chai. Chai is, yeah. Chai is good, but yeah, like I'm, I'm a coffee drinker. I am a total coffee drinker. So I always see God has a sense of humor because I, I do TV feeding, but I'm a coffee drinker. I don't like a lot of tea. I don't know. I don't know. Just I'm, I'm, I'm a coffee, but chai is good. I will drink some chai. I will drink some. Okay. So for timing, could you keep an eye on the time for me? Because I'm going to be like absorbed in the tea leaves. So how long did you want this reading to go for? Because I'm totally fine doing it for however long, but. Let's, um, what do you think is good? So it's, it's 312 right now. How long do you think would be good for a general reading for? We, we could do like a half an hour general reading. And then that way we're not rushed trying to, trying to do it for 15 minutes. And then that way we have a good solid half an hour. Perfect. So I will okay keep, with you? yeah, absolutely. I will keep an eye on the time and I'm going to let, I'm going to put you back on full screen here. So okay. maybe when we get to the, to the 15 minute mark, please let me know. And then that way I can sort of pace myself halfway through. Is that okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So I have the tea leaves here, just checking the consistency. So in case what people are wondering about it, like this is what I did last time. I put the hot water in. I have the tea loose. I use a, it's bag tea. It's fine. I put it in and put hot water in. So I'm just checking the consistency now. Right now, there's way too much liquid in here. Well, a little bit too much liquid. So I'm just going to strain some of it out into a bowl. And it's just, again, to get the consistency right. Too much of liquid, too much tea. They all, all the leaves stay in, all the leaves fall out. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to put a little bit more liquid in. checking here okay that's good so that's the consistency that i'm wanting where it will clump on the base as i'm swirling it around I'm trying to like not split as i'm swirling it but it clumps that's what we want because that way that means that some of the leaves will stay in the base like they'll stay in the cup okay just double checking here just a little bit I only put a little hot water in so just to make sure that I have exactly the right consistency. I'm being a little bit precise right now. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push the leaves back down in the sides of the cup, push them down from the swirling. Okay. Okay. Dear source creator, please and thank you for allowing this reading to be accurate for everyone involved. And please and thank you for letting it be the most and the highest good for everyone involved. And this is a general reading for our friends of this, watching this video. Okay, so I'm gonna swirl. Okay, thank you. Heard stop, so I stopped. I'm putting the plate on top. Flip it over. 
case anyone what, what, wondering what, what, wondering I was, what I was just doing, I was just clearing out my ha- my hand chakras in case anyone was just like, what did she do wiping her hands off? Okay, and then I'm just going to turn it about three or four times. I know tradition states three times, sometimes I do four. Okay, I'm just going to let it drip dry just for a few seconds. I'm just going to let the water absorb a little bit here. I do this so the water won't pool in the base and change any leaves that are in the base. I don't get all the water sometimes. If so, I'll just gently dab it, but this just sort of prevents that from happening. People may get a little bit bored watching me because all they're going to see is my, 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 like the top of my head and like the top of my forehead looking in the cup. So apologies for the boredom that anyone may experience watching me. Well, just I, go think it's, I think it's fascinating because most of us are not. I would I would reckon that 99.9% of the people watching right now are not tea leaf readers. So this is very interesting to see how it's set up and done. So it's. I, I, again, it's like everyone has their own way of doing it. I remember I went online a few years ago. And I was just researching generally to see any other readers. I never took a course. Like I said, I'm all God taught other than the book that I read. And it's all experience. It's all from God. And I'm just like literally doing what I'm doing. And I'm like, I'm always a little bit surprised. Like people are just in tea leaf reading. Like really? But it, it's just, it's so, it is unique. It is different. It's different. And you don't really see a lot of people doing it. That's the thing. Okay. So here we go. I haven't really looked at it, but these are the tea leaves. And I'm happy to take pictures if you want to post it with the video too, if you like. But these are the tea leaves. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. So here we go. Starting up at the top. And thank you for keeping an eye, an eye on the time. That, that helps me so much. No worries. That way I can just like focus on this. Oh, okay busy I get very dry so apologies if I'm putting like lipstick on and stuff as we're talking and chugging water it's a it's a lot of talking okay so let's start up at the top which is the current situation so again it's now on the way and later for anyone watching again this is how I read up I do read chronologically now on the way and later one I mean, so far I've counted about 14 different individual events or situations which are happening right now. So I would say that for everyone watching this, um, there's just a lot going on, which may sound stereotypical, but it's just very, very busy right now. However, that said, there is one main area where things are calm and clear and quiet and or you want them to get moving a bit more. So I don't like to use the word stuck or stagnation, but if you feel like things, you just want things to get moving a little bit more, that could be the case. And or things are quiet and calm and clear and you're happy with the way that that is present right now. But either way, that could be an either or. But that is in one significant area. But again, that said, there are multiple smaller events or situations which are taking place. And there are two smaller events or situations. It's almost like gold, silver, gold, silver, silver. One main event, two smaller ones that are not as significant, but they are more significant than all the other bronze ones. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So we do have one main event or situation, which is a layout that I often see anyway whenever I do TD fitting. Usually, typically, there is one main event or situation. So we do have that coming up. We also have a lot of other events or situations taking place. They're more short term, though, and I say that I start teaching because if you look around here, you can see that all of these groupings here, they're not as they don't go down in the cup very far. They're only around this area, so they're not long lasting. So there's going to be other smaller events or situations taking place at the same time. Oh. And this is like imminently. So this is for the month of February. So there's going to be one for us collectively or for someone watching one main event is going to happen this month but there's also little ones happening as well but, exactly okay i just want to clarify that for the group for Thank everybody you. watching right now this could be collectively but this could be for somebody watching right now that god you Absolutely. know Ex- yeah. exactly this is this is again take what you will leave what you don't this may be applying to you yourself myself someone else and or neither of us 
parts of this may apply to different people. So this is just a very, this is a general reading for the month of February. Yeah, so there are some events that are short place. Um, there's, al there's also two areas, two other smaller events, which are taking place soon that are connected to the main event, but I'll get to that when I start getting down, getting down in, the, in the cup a bit more. Um, generally speaking, there's gonna be one, two areas potentially a third smaller one where we going forward for the month as the month progresses where we are going to be having enough time to focus actually for where we're going to be having enough time to focus on what we need to focus on and we're not going to be distracted in too many other areas so if that makes sense but i would say the based on this what i'm based on the layout that i'm seeing when i say to my clients if i was reading for someone individually i would say just just pace yourself just really use this time to be as productive as you can not stressing yourself out by any means however if you feel the need to just get things done that you haven't gotten done yet whether that's purging closets fridges paperwork whatever the case is um because as we go forward as the month per, sort of gets to the latter half of the month according to what from what i'm seeing here it does get quite busy gets busier so again take that for what you will okay as for this main event or situation let's get on with that right now so it looks like this is parts of it are happening imminently there's going to be some time generally before a few of the events or situations like individual aspects of this one main event start occurring so the way that i describe this quickly is think of this as a quilt and every single grouping every single tea leaf in here represents patches of the quilt so what i'm looking at is individual scenarios taking place in this one main event or situation so hopefully that makes sense to people okay now, right now, at the beginning of the month, there's going to be a few smaller areas, smaller events or situations taking place, and there's like a where it's really busy, some of that busyness that I mentioned, that leads directly to this main event. And it starts off with a tree. So we do have abundance and prosperity. It may not be fully formed when it arrives, or maybe it's just not what we think. Um, it could definitely still be in the growing, uh, forming phase, phases, rather, but there is uh, abundance and prosperity and there's also like no this is tea leaves tea leaves are, are an and or and or there are some kind of messages news and information on the way regarding that and this is like at the start of the month like right like at the beginning and that pretty much precedes everything that's in here there may be some like a little bit of money associated with this it may also have something to do with a house use my ring light just to get a bit more light here Again, property, it may have some messages to do with pertaining to property potentially and or some kind of messages, news and information that's regarding two different aspects. But it's a good scenario. It's, it's also forming a happy face. I see emojis. So it's a little face with, with its tongue sticking out. So it's almost like we're feeling kind of cheeky. We're good. Everything's good. It's, it's a happy scenario. I go, I go quiet sometimes, sorry. Personal place to think with a letter W involved, potentially. I say potentially in case it makes sense. So personal place to think with a letter W. Using or in, there, there's someone potentially who has an air sign involved. Um, I'm saying that because there's a figure of, of someone with a sword beside them, so swords being air. So there may be like someone who's an air sign potentially um, and or someone who is highly intellectual. So that's where it could go either way. That's what I mean. Okay. Um, this is regarding a few different things, but again, it's, it's a good scenario. They're happy. They may, ha they may have a prominent nose. And this has something to do with um, a new beginning of some kind, a new opportunity that is taking form. It may not be a hugely massive uh, new opportunity, but it is present. Okay. Um, there's a, we also have a number, a version of, uh, sorry, a version of the number seven in here. So like esoteric knowledge, higher learning, I'm not a numerologist, I don't claim to claim to be, but something to do with like, esoteric knowledge. And this may also pertain to messages again, messages, news and information on the way. 
involving writing, writing of some kind. With this whole E, sorry, with this whole W scenario, there also may be a person, place, or thing with a letter E that's involved. But again, there's there's some conversations and discussions taking place regarding this. Potentially a new, sorry, a potentially a partnership as well. If so, it's still forming. Taking a leap of faith in this whole scenario, I'm, I'm trying to read chronologically here. So at the same time as all of this is happening, there's also um, a feeling of potentially going for what you want to have, a leap of faith. And if so, that does look positive. We have a small tree there, so abundance and prosperity. This may be involving a family member potentially, and if so, it's a smaller, younger, or shorter um, family member. Reassurance regarding this. And there's like a loving, nurturing feeling with this. But yeah, going for what you want to have, leap of faith. There may be a version, um, oh, sorry, one second. Which way is that going? Okay, it's not completely clear. I won't say that. Um, yeah, happy face. There's a happy face. So happiness. And Sarah, we're at the 15 minute mark. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. I'll speed up because we're right up at the very top. Keep going. Overall, as this whole situation concludes or progresses, we're going to be knowing where we stand with a lot of things. Uh, things are going to be generally like we know where we stand, but we do have some surprises on the way. Overall, I won't say it again, just sake of being repetitive, lots of conversations, thoughts, words, ideas, and discussions taking place. Again, we have a version of the letter W. Helpful people. Something to do with the, the letter uh, letter L. So person, place, or thing, likely a person with a letter L. And that involves close communication between two individuals. I won't say it again. I'm seeing happy faces throughout here. So things are going well. This whole month involves happiness. Independent thought is related to that happiness as well. And I'm also, I keep seeing reassurance. Access for me just mean reassurance. That's just what it just means. It doesn't mean Vikings. Um, there's, there's reassurance throughout here. And this is all, only in this section. So if we're sort of feeling like a little bit angst or something, this is just saying reassurance is present. Like hang in there. It's going to be okay. Just hang in there. Reassurance is present. And this is regarding different events or scenarios as part of this overall event. A successful venture undertaking a new creative project that does look like it is going very well that involves a helpful individual and some kind of surprise with the letter e possibly c but e this whole event does have a, like a side event which partake which is, is really all about creativity it's all about creative projects new creative projects new creative endeavors that we're that we're doing creativity um, and there's a lot of thoughts and words regarding that. A lot of thoughts and words regarding that. A lot of conversations and discussions. Standing your, standing your ground. There also may be a Leo connection involved at, at later this month as well. Someone maybe who is a Leo and potentially Gemini as well. The letter M, letter M is present. And that helps to create a new opportunity of some kind. And there's love around that situation. Like, it's a good situation. Oh, and we have a little dragon. Okay. So definitely protection. To me, dragons are like a knight in shining armor times 100. So there's a lot of protection. This is a reminder that there was protection involved in this situation. Certainly near, like, the latter half. The middle to the latter half of the month. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I keep seeing the letter M. I won't say it again. I keep seeing it. A beautiful partnership that is forming near to the end of the month. There's reminders in here for protection, that we are protected. And again, that's towards the latter half of the month as well. Going for what we want to have. Inhib no, hang on. Uninhibited, that's the word. Going for what we want to have. 
going forward. And that involves someone else who is a younger individual, a younger individual, sorry. Okay. There, some of us may be partaking on a trip of some kind. This is likely either one trip with two parts to it, or there's two separate trips that we're going on. One is more significant than the other. Again, the letter M. But also partnerships as well. Unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment, protection, nurturing, loving, really having a lot of like childlike emotions or behavior with this, like being happy, innocent, loving, protection, companionship, commitment, loyalty. Okay, I've seen two lions now. So there's some Leo connection that's present. I saw it in the in the the main event and then on this like larger trip we have an overall picture face here of a lion so there's definitely some kind of either leo quality where this is not astro i don't this is for the month so this is not representing august in terms of timing late july to late august but this is more like you know, like the qualities and characteristics of leo like pride going for what you want to have being strong Partnerships. I keep seeing little, like, little, little, little um, teddy. Oh, sorry, that's our Brie. I, that's Brie. Sorry, I spoke too loudly. No, Brie, come talk to your friend. No, 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 no. Come come say hi to Brie's friend. Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I spoke too loudly. I just got excited. Um, but there's little... Brendel Adamson, come here right now. Shh, 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 shh. Here, play with this. Come here. Sorry, but there's, I keep seeing teddy, sorry about that, everyone. Um, I keep seeing teddy bears in here. So that's, I've been seeing that more lately too. And other readings have been doing. So it's like childlike innocence and love and nurturing and compassion and gentleness, comfort. Brie agrees. Uh, I, towards the latter half of this month, there's partnerships again. Now partnership, define what partnership is. It could be a new chiropractor could be a new friend it could be anything but there's new partnerships for me and this involves some kind of abundance and prosperity and again this is towards the latter half of latter, latter part of the month uh, there's a lot of i keep seeing dogs for me that means like uncond unconditional love support loyalty commitment protection companionship i keep seeing indications of that throughout this entire reading so those qualities are absolutely present from what i'm seeing throughout this month and then we're in the base so to me, this is like the end of the month heading into the following month. Very similar in terms of how busy we're going to be. Um, we're going to be able to pace ourselves, but it's going to be, I would say, quite busy. Some surprises, absolutely. But we're going to really know where we stand with things as well. Person, place, or thing with the letters H and or I. Okay, what did I say about a keyhole? There's a keyhole. I have to take a picture and I'll, I'll outline it and I'll send it to you. So what we just said, now there's also the continent of Africa and or the state. So depending on how you look at that, but there's some kind of you going for what you want to have. You have all the materials you need to make that decision and go for it. And you, you just, just, just what we just said before, you have the key, you just have to turn the lock. That's all you have to do. We have all the materials you need in order to get that thing that we want. And all you have to do is just do it. If you feel so inclined, of course, I'm not telling you what to do, but it's all positive. It's all good. There's a lot of a love around that scenario. Person, place, or thing with a V, letter V, and or L. Swiftness, things going quickly. There's just a lot of love and compassion and community, a lot of protection i keep seeing indications of that throughout this entire reading just knowing that we are not alone there's a lot of love and compassion and nurturing and caring that i keep seeing references to that throughout this entire reading yeah some of us may be thinking of moving if so it does look like it's a definitive possibility like you may be moving some of you 
us <laughs> in March, and there is protection involved in the scenario. And um, stability, that moving does involve um, stability. Going for what we want to have. Letter M, yet again. And just to wrap it up, some conversations, but really knowing where we stand, well, uh, people around us who are being helpful. And we also have abundance and prosperity as well. And the ab abundance and prosperity does absolutely involve some kind of new opportunity of some kind, some kind of new opportunity. But we have a lot of nurturing thr throughout this entire reading. I just see, keep seeing different images referencing a, a loving and nurturing Teddy bears are everywhere. I keep seeing, I keep seeing it. It's everywhere. The whole month ahead looks like there's just a lot of reassurance that is present. A lot of, a lot of nurturing. Now, what that is, whether it's self nurturing or nurturing from other people, I can't say obviously, or where that nurturing is coming from, but it is present. Which is sometimes like a, just like a nice thing to know that yeah, there is. It's a nice reminder that there is reassurance present. And um, let's see anything else here, just wrap it up. Messages, news, and information possibly, possibly again about the home and or family. So some kind of family house and or home connection. But it is loving too. It is loving. There's good news coming to us and it is loving. And this is again, the end of the month heading into March. And um, yeah, just creativity, new creative projects and partnerships that are forming. Yeah. And again, protection and happiness. How is that? <laughs> that sounds awesome. I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking I can't wait to see what our friends watching right now if that triggered anything for you guys like what messages you picked up from that but it sounds like collectively we have a really good month coming i mean valentine's day february is all about love. that's right that's right you know? so um so we are transitional well, for us i mean we really don't have a winter but this is a month where we transfer into spring so we we just get yeah. super hot here so it, is, it, it just it just sounds like everything's going right on i love the fact that family stuff comes up with the support of family and it was interesting. Somebody said, Sarah, from our last video, I didn't even think about this. The amount of M's that came up in the last video for me, a lot of M's came up in this one. Magdalene. Oh, yes. I did see that comment. And I went, oh, that makes so much sense. And I think Magdalene, I mean, she's been one of my guides for my whole life, but I'm sure she's guiding so many other people too. And when you said the lions, I I, I saw the Lyrans, the, the oh, Christ consciousness. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's amazing. That's so good. And you guys, so again, that was a general reading for whoever's listening, but I'm going to go ahead once again, I'm going to show you guys Sarah's YouTube channel and her website. So if there was something in that reading where you're like, that's me, and you want more <laughs> clarity, I know Sarah's going to do it next week, hopefully, sometimes she's going to do a full reading on me privately because of stuff she pulled up in my reading. I'm like, let's let's investigate this further. So um, <laughs> find her, her, I will put all these links down in the description box below, and she can do a one-on-one -on -one with you privately, not recorded, and so she can get more specific um for for you and for what you what you what you need and what you want what universe has to tell you that was amazing sarah thank you oh, so thank you much. it's not me i'm uh, you're welcome it's not me i'm just a messenger that's all you have the ability to read it because i keep seeing i'm just seeing tea leaves so <laughs> <laughs> well i'll take some pictures i'll send them to you know i will outline a few things just so that you can you can see them too but um i am actually in the process of, of editing the new general bi-weekly tea leaf reading that off for my own channel i have another like six minutes left to edit through I have to edit through it one more time and then I'll upload it. So this I'm running a few days behind, but it should be up hopefully by tomorrow. Editing's hard. That's the thing. Like YouTube is a full time job, guys. Like we're like I'm a one woman show. Like I I know a Sarah is as well. Like it's just us. <laughs> We we're just poor. doing our best here to do our best. Essentially, yeah, just, it's it's we're real people. We're doing our best. I do my own editing. It takes the editing is what takes forever. The editing is the bitch. Like that's what's. Um, the editing is the hardest part. It's so hard. And it's, and I don't think people realize like it takes me. So if I do an hour deep dive 
it takes me so 10 minutes of footage is about one hour's worth of editing so an hour deep dive is like six hours worth of editing it is it is tedious i'm like this is why editors get paid a lot of money in, in hollywood because this is tedious yeah. It's tedious. Like usually when I do a recording and I, I think I said this somewhere in, in my channel update from a while ago, it's somewhere I said it, I think on my channel to do a, a biweekly TV video. I was doing them weekly, but I just could not keep up. So to do a biweekly, I'm like, okay, at least it's more sustain sustainable. But what I do is I have my little, my, my little system, I rig it up here and I record it with the thing facing down, camera facing down. It's all just my cell phone. That's all I use really to record and to rec I record it in clips. So I usually have anywhere from like 45 to 50 odd minutes of recording time. And then I have to blow that into my editor and then I have to splice it out. I use a yeah. phone editor. It's easy. I have to splice out everything. And then I'm, I'm hunched over usually. Now this time I sat down, but doing it for the new video, but usually I'm hunched over talking into the phone and then I get like winded because I'm talking. And I can't get out of breath. So every time like I'm right beside the microphone. So you hear every time I go, <sighs> so I'm going to cut that out all the time because i'm listening to it I'm like that sounds really really annoying so it just takes a long time to splice it out so the the the, the, the recording of it may take like two to three hours for me to record it yeah. and i have to edit it and then i have to export it and then upload it yeah that's and the that thing too. Takes yeah, hours. i record so i record us with with people i record on zoom sometimes i record with just myself on zoom too because it's easy but yeah you have to export it you have to put it into your editor i have to put it and then i have to export it from the editor after editing it and then load it into YouTube. And depending on how YouTube's feeling that day, sometimes it takes no time at all. Sometimes it takes hours for something to upload, depending on what's going on with YouTube. So yes. And I know our subscribers are so awesome and they, they, you know, are so supportive of, of the, we're, we're, I mean, we were laughing beforehand. Like I'm in my, I, I don't know if people believe me. I'm literally in my bedroom. Like this is, there's no set. It's my bedroom. I, <laughs> I'm in my living room. We, my mom and I live together. We're in a condo and we have like, it's like one main open floor plan thing. And I'm literally in the corner. There's more daylight coming in because I'm it's daylight and it's coming in through the window, but I'm just in the corner of my living room. That's yeah. All. Yeah. That's, I mean, I mean, I mean, literally my bed's right there. Like <laughs> I'm facing my bed. So anyway, guys, well, thank you so much, Sarah. That was awesome. Maybe in a couple weeks we can check back in and see what's going on for people. Please make sure you go and subscribe to Sarah's channel. Visit her website. She's in the signal group as well for people doing the shadow work challenge. I'm going to so, be posting more in there soon. I'm so delinquent. <laughs> No, you're fine. I, I listen. I am so grateful to. We have a few moderators in there that are de that are not content uh, content providers. They're just subscribers. I am so grateful to those people. They know who they are. They are. I'm so grateful because it is so much, and I'm so excited. Like a signal group, everybody in there is so amazing, and they just have these comments. And I'm just like, this is so fantastic. Like so, so I know I'm not in there that much either. It's it's because I'm usually editing, but um, but you know. <laughs> So it's amazing. We have guys in there now. We 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 uh we had guys before they were very quiet. Now we've got a few men in there doing it. And that's amazing. that's just amazing that the men are in there doing it as well. So that's so yes, yeah, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the shadow sixty day shadow work challenge that we are hosting. My channel and a few other channels are hosting. If you want to be a part of it, it's never too late to start. Um just email me at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com and I will send you I will be happily send you the template. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I'm just enjoy this so much. And I can't wait to have you back on once again, guys. Go support it. Go support our sister out. Go subscribe <laughs> to her channel. Thank you. I mean, she's thank awesome. You. So awful. Right. Thank you. I'm right back at you and everyone else watching. Everyone has been so kind and I, I genuinely appreciate it. It just means so much. And just thank you so much. And I really hope that this TV reading was of some help today to some people. It was awesome. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.